What's good, YouTube? I'm back, and it is currently 11.30 on Sunday, September 11th. So today, we're going to talk about fruit. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> So, when it comes to bodybuilding, questions? People are pretty questionable, can be pretty questionable about how much fruit to include in their diet, um, how much uh, <clears throat> fruit they feel like is helpful or necessary, um, or is it is it good to eat fruit? Is, is there like a limit to how much you should eat? What are the good fruits to eat? And... And basically, <clears throat> I'm going to get into, so I'm going to talk about those things. And I'm going to get into a little bit of um, how how fructose, um, which is specifically the sugar that's mostly in fruit, um, is metabolized and basically just the process of, of how, how, of how um, when you eat a fruit, how it, how it responds in your body, basically. And so, we're going to get into that after I take a bite. <clears throat> so I was going to put some footage in this video too. Um, Kent and I just went to the gym and did some back. And, but when I got to the gym, I realized my camera did not have the memory card. It was in my computer because I'm editing a video for my trip to Denver, which that should be up later this week. Anyway, back to fruit. So, <clears throat> so I'm going to start by talking about different kinds of fruit. So, if you're cutting or prepping um, for a show and you're trying to eat a low carb diet, or you're just really trying to eat a low carb diet, the best, the best. I'm going to say from the beginning, actually. You really don't have to be afraid of fruits. There aren't gonna, there aren't some fruits that are like detrimental to your diet. But with that being said, the low carb fruits that you want to focus on, um, that would be best for low carb diet. The fruits that you get the least amount of sugar per hundred grams, or well, per any volume. Um, some of the best ones. Anything that's berries is really good. Um, strawberries, cranberries, blackberries. Um, blueberries a little bit higher, but blackberries, you know, well, most people don't eat cranberries, pretty bitter. Um, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, those are all really good. <clears throat> per 100 grams, those each have about like, have about 5, five grams um, sugar, well 5 grams carbs I'm going to say. Um, that's not including fiber, so, and so that's why this is, <clears throat> yeah. Each of those have like five to six grams um, sugar per hundred grams, which is not bad at all. You could eat a bunch of that and you know not worry about having like you know you're not having a bunch of carbs. Whereas on the other hand, something like a banana is like twenty grams of sugar per um, per hundred grams, which is like it's basically four times the same amount of carbs for the same, you know, volume, for the same mass of food. Um, and, yeah, so, you know, in general, you eat these, if you're not, like, if your diet isn't all fruit, like, you shouldn't really worry, but if you're trying to cut out fat and and lower, and, you know, if you're trying to cut out fat, the, the foods to stick to would be, the fruits to stick to would be mostly the berries, um, Apple's kind of in the middle. It's more on the higher end, but that's what I'm eating right now. I'm not cutting. Anyway, um, but yeah, so like a lot of people do have like bananas are kind of, that's the one I would just mostly say, for example, be aware of. So I'm going to talk about basically how fruit, and this goes for, and so on a larger scale, other than just specific kinds of fruit. People have juice, like, a lot, and people don't realize that juice, though it doesn't have, like, 
if you're having 100% juice, doesn't have added sweeteners. But because it's made out of concentrate... Alright. Sorry guys, I'm back. My, my camera actually ran out of memory, so I had to go back and delete some stuff. Um, alright, so back. Where were we talking about? So let's talk about... So I was talking about bananas, and I was talking about juices, and I was talking about be aware of those because there's a lot more sugar in juice than you think, and juice and and bananas too, like you know they release they release a lot of sugar into your blood, um, and it's fast sugar um, right away, and so that causes a blood sugar spike, which causes an insulin spike which kind of takes your body out of its regular, regular, um, you know, I'm going to explain this in a second on paper. Um, <clears throat> but basically, especially if you're trying to cut, like, juice should be something you should cut out of your diet because it's really just the sugar taken out of a lot of fruit without the fruit fibers and the other stuff you have in the fruit. I mean, you still have some vitamins in there, but it's mostly sugar. That's what concentrate is, even if it's not... If, if it's not if it's a sh if it's a juice that's not that doesn't have sugar added it's still you know mostly the sugar that's in juice it's not you know smoothies making a smoothie would be a lot it's a lot healthier <clears throat> but basically yeah I'm gonna go over some I'm gonna go over uh, the the process how it's released in your body um, the sugar and the metabolism of it so if I can shift the camera look down at the paper okay here we go so <clears throat> wow I'm drawing upside down this is really hard <clears throat> alright so here we got this we got this this will put T this is time that is a really bad T I drew that upside down that's a T that's time um, this is the sugar in your blood. This will be blood sugar. I can't write upside down, so I'm going to turn this. <clears throat> blood sugar. <clears throat> so I'm going to draw one dotted line right through the middle here. Let's say this is like your natural... Um, blood sugar level that you want to maintain that your body fights to maintain um, and you try to and you want to stay at this because when your when your blood sugar stays about this level your metabolism is working um, the fastest is working the most efficiently as it can so you're burning the most calories and you're not storing fat that you don't want um, and so basically <clears throat> when you have something with high sugar in it could be like a glass of juice or a banana I'm gonna use I'm kind of hating on bananas a little bit because they are kind of the most high sugar content fruit and it's released really fast. So um, so let's say right here you eat a banana and you have some juice. I'm going to draw a banana upside down. Okay, that's a banana. And so <clears throat> when you eat the banana your blood sugar is going to go up and then over time it's going to go down because soon after um, your body is going to release insulin the dotted, this dotted line is insulin insulin and as the insulin comes in what it's doing is it's taking the sugar, the fructose and the glucose and it's it's taking it out of your blood because your body's like, oh dang, we have too much sugar in our blood, and then it's storing it um, in your body. I mean, unless unless right at this point your body starts using the sugar, which is why I want to say if you do want to eat bananas, I would recommend, and you're trying to not you know, and you're trying to. Do the most you can to not gain fat. Again, having bananas now and then is not going to be a big deal if you're not cutting or whatever. But to get the most out of the sugar, because it's going to be a sugar spike and an insulin spike, I would recommend having a banana or something, um, you know, a banana before workout. Because then this sugar, 
rather than coming back and getting stored, the insulin storing it in your body, you're going to be using it in your workout or right after your workout where your glucose, where your body needs to recover glycogen stores because they're used up from your workout. So having a banana like right before or after workout is the most effective um, use of a banana. <clears throat> um, also, when it comes to any metabolism, which metabolism is something I like to talk about, it's a complex, complex subject. When you eat other things with, like if you ate something high in protein with a banana or something high in sugar, it's going to affect the way it, it's all metabolized because there's more things in your blood for your body to deal with. And um, sugar breaks down faster than everything else. So if you have something with protein in it, it's going to affect that. Overall, I'm gonna I'm gonna make another video about uh, metabolism. But if you saw my anabolism, if you haven't seen my anabolism versus catabolism video, that video also has more helpful information about this topic, so you can get back to that. Um, so so when you haven't eaten for a long period of time, over two to three hours since your last meal, or you know, or maybe a high protein snack, your blood sugar does the opposite. Um, where it, you know, your blood sugar slowly starts, um, yeah, I'll start right here, your blood sugar slowly drops over time, and there's like a certain point, yeah, like right here, let's say, dotted line, this is a dotted line here, and this is a dotted line here, and at these two points, this point, and this, oh, oh I can't see, sorry, at this point, and this point where these dotted lines are, yeah, these dotted lines are. Um, this is the point where your body, once it reaches a peak high or a peak low, um, your body um, triggers your pancreas to release um, insulin for when it's too high and when it's too low. All right. Sorry, guys, once again. Ran out of memory. Had to delete some more stuff. Anyway, so we should be good now. I'm going to try to finish this real quick. Um, so what was I saying? Right. So when your blood sugar hits a certain peak high, your body uh, releases insulin to, to store the extra um, sugar because your body's like, oh, we got too much sugar in the blood. We got to store it. Um, at the same time, when your blood sugar drops too low, your body signals your liver to release glucose to get it back up and and this is and this is important because this is like catabolism and your body has to break things down in order to get in order to create the energy to put this glucose back into your blood um, which means obviously a starvation period over if you've gone a long time without eating food and your blood sugar drops really low your body's gonna need to get energy from somewhere and since it doesn't have food it's gonna start using um, you know your own body to fuel itself um, which which in general will involve you know breaking down some breaking down some muscle into amino acids just to create energy to you know release glucose and things like that which you don't want so and also so my advice again to conclude this video, my advice again is you want to keep your blood sugar at about this level, which oftentimes will mean you want to eat within, keep you want to keep eating like meals or snacks, you know, every two to three hours to keep like, because therefore your the line is going to stay more, it's going to go up and down a little bit, but it's going to stay more along this path rather than like having a huge meal which will which will bring it up to here and then it'll drop and then you know steady and then you'll drop because you haven't eaten for a while and then having a big meal and it's just up and down which is it's is much less effective for your metabolism you're going to be burning less calories you're also just not going to feel as good when your blood sugar stays at a constant level about your energy levels are normal like when you have a spike your energy will be high and then you'll just crash and you know you get really tired like Thanksgiving meal this is like a a big jump right here and then drop and you with all the insulin that's released you just feel like sleeping and that's what people do on Thanksgiving 
and that's not healthy, which is why we don't do it every day. Um, anyway, that concludes the video. Um, so, coming up, I'm the Denver video, which also includes us, me, um, Frigo, Kent, we're, and Anton's here too. He's over there. Well, he's not here literally. He's downstairs playing FIFA. But you'll see us more, and we will say hi because we're back in school. And I'll get you the Denver footage and some more cool stuff coming up on the channel. Hope you guys liked the video. Sorry if I was a little all over the place. But, oh yeah, again, eat lots of berries. Those are good fruit. Berries have a lot of micronutrients and not a lot of carbs. And they're good for you. So, eat those. Um, and, yeah. I guess that's about it. I will see you in the next one. Good night.